Tonight, the purchase of go bags was one of the recommendations the Maui Police Department made for itself after the Lahaina disaster, admitting officers didn't have basic equipment to keep them safe from the fire. Today, MPD officers are still waiting for that gear. Our Allison Blair reports. For the past six months, H&N Investigates has tracked Maui Police Department's efforts to provide training and obtain supplies critical to keeping its officers safe in a fire emergency. While department leaders blame the delay on bureaucracy, the police union and the head of a government watchdog group says more could be done to ready officers for future disasters. You heard that, right? Uh, come out, come out, come out. Get in. <coughs> Here we are, a year after the tragic and devastating Lahaina wildfire. Our officers are no more equipped to train now to respond to a fire than, than we were. You know, a year ago. Maui chapter chair for the State of Hawaii Organization of Police Officers, Nick Crow. Chief Pelletier is a, is a very difficult job. You know, he he doesn't have to just prepare our officers for for fires. He has to prepare them for all types of emergencies, but it's important to prioritize this type of equipment that's necessary for our officers to respond to emergencies. Uh, you know, it shouldn't be such a delay in, in obtaining funding for that. The Maui Police Department says it included its $108,000 ask for personal protective equipment, including face coverings and fire resistant clothing in its annual budget request, which was approved by council about a month ago. Now, before anything can be purchased, the department has to go through the procurement process. Today, there's still no timeline for when officers will have access to that safety gear. Meanwhile, I know this is the right thing to do for the county. That's Chief John Pelletier back in May, advocating for a multi-million dollar night vision helicopter program he claims the department needs. Those comments prompted questions from the union earlier this summer, asking why the chief didn't approach the council about the safety equipment sooner and with that same passion. And the county has access to funding. It's called a contingency budget. In case things come up that they didn't anticipate, they're able to spend that money as soon as possible. At the time, the department told us we wouldn't ask for contingency funding if we could use budgeted monies. The union's also been pushing for more fire training. There are certain fires that use you putting water on from a garden hose can actually make them worse. We don't know how to identify those different types of fire. Currently, the only fire training offered by MPD is a two day course given to recruits at the academy. Our officers protect our cities and protect us. Sometimes, though, it is time for the citizenry to be their voices and to help protect them. Cameron Hurt is the program manager for the government watchdog group Common Calls Hawaii. It is a failure of priority that they are not better equipped for an emergency situation. We asked the department if Chief Pelletier could sit down with us for an interview to discuss these issues. A spokesperson responded, please refer to all of our previous responses regarding our go bags, which have been very explicit and does not warrant an interview with anyone in the department. A response that doesn't sit well with hurt. This is a public interest story for you to feel like there's nothing that you could give to the public. There's nothing that you could give to the officers who lay down their line every day when they put on their uniform to help make them feel more secure and let the public, let advocates, let officers know where you may need some help. Meanwhile, Krause says he would like to see more collaboration between the union and department leadership. We should work together because it's, it's in the best interest of our community and it's in the best interest of our officers. The department said it's working to coordinate some type of integrated training with the fire department focused on how to respond to what it calls critical incidents, saying it's still in the developmental stages. Implementation is expected within the next year. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now. Okay.